Hello friends, in this class we will learn about section formula. Section formula is mainly in two types. One is internal division, another one is external division. In this class we will learn about internal division. First we will try to understand what is section formula and then we will derive this result. You see what they given. A is x1 y1. B, X2, Y2 are two endpoints of a line segment AB. You can see here the point A, B are endpoints of a line segment. A is X1, Y1, B is X2, Y2. Okay. Now you see here P, X, Y, P is a point on AB. Look here. This is the point P. P is a point on AB which divides AB. You can look here. P is dividing AB in the ratio m is to n internally. As the point p is in between a and b, we say this is internal division. If p is not in between a and b, but p divides a b and p is on a b, then we say it is external division that we will learn in next class. Now p is a point which divides a b in the ratio m is to n internally. Then the coordinates of P, look here, this point P is mx2 plus nx1 divided by m plus n, comma, my2 plus ny1 divided by m plus n. Actually here P is x comma y, na. it tells you that this x is nothing but mx2 plus nx1 divided by m plus n, y is nothing but my2 plus ny1 divided by m plus n. Okay, so finally what we are trying to prove we are trying to prove that x is nothing but mx2 plus nx1 divided by m plus n this y is nothing but my2 plus ny1 divided by m plus n we are finding the coordinates of point p in this section formula you can see here as we considered a as x1 y1 the perpendicular distance from point to y axis is x1 this is x1 perpendicular distance from point to x axis is y1 why we got this length as x1, this length as y1? Because we considered a as x1, y1. Okay. You look here, b is x2, y2. What it means? The perpendicular distance from this point to y axis is x2. This length is x2. What is y2? Perpendicular distance from this point to x axis is y2. This length is y2. Similarly, as you consider the point P as x comma y, this length is x, this length is y. Okay, you see, I draw AC which is parallel to x axis and I'll draw PD which is also parallel to x axis. What happened here, I drawn AC which is parallel to x axis and I drawn PD which is parallel to x axis. Now, you can observe two triangles here, triangle APC triangle PBD. Are these triangles are similar triangles? We will observe. You see this is 90 degrees and this angle is also 90 degrees. Correct? And you can see this line and this line are parallel then this acts as a transversal. Correct? You try to understand this line and this line are parallel then this line acts as a transversal. We know that in a transversal corresponding angles are equal. So what happened? this angle and this angle both are same okay and obviously you can observe this angle this angle are also equal so from the properties of similar triangles we can say that the triangle apc comma the triangle pbd are similar triangles in similar triangles we know that corresponding sides are proportional corresponding sides for example you see here ap and what is the corresponding side of other triangle? Other triangle is PB. That means AP divided by PB equal to. You see here AC. What is the corresponding side in other triangle? PD. That means AC divided by PD equal to. What is the remaining things? In this triangle PC. In this triangle BD. So PC divided by BD. We know that in similar triangles corresponding sides are proportional. That only I written. You see here in the statement itself they are saying that P divides AB in the ratio M is to N. P divides AB in the ratio M is to N. That means AP divided by PB is M divided by N. AP divided by PB is given as M by N. You look here. You look here. This AP divided by PB it is given as M by N because 
they are saying that P divides AB in the ratio M is to N internally. I hope you are understanding. Okay, you can look here, all these four ratios are equal. Okay, now what I'll do, I can take any year. Uh, to get the answer, I'll take AC divided by PD. What is AC divided by PD? From this statement, I can write that AC divided by PD can be written as M divided by N. Okay. Now I need to find out what is AC, what is PD from the diagram. AC, you look here, this is AC, correct? This length is AC. You can observe here, this length is X, this length is X, this length is what? This length, this length is also X. The smaller part is X1, the smaller part is X1. Then what is AC? This full length X minus this smaller part. What is AC? AC is X minus X1. You can understand. You look here, we want PD, this one, PD. How you will get this PD? You see, this full length is X2, correct? You can see here, this full length is X2. And this smaller part is X, this part is X. This full length is X2. X2 minus X will gives you PD. What is PD? PD is X2 minus X. As you know about coordinates of a point, you can easily understand that PD is nothing but X2 minus X. Now, I'll write what is AC, what is PD here. What is AC? AC is X minus X1 divided by PD. What is PD? PD is X2 minus X equal to M divided by N. What I'll do here, I'll simplify this and I'll try to get what is X. You just cross multiply, multiply with n, what you will get nx minus nx1 equal to mx2 minus mx. I just cross multiplied here. What I'll do, all x related terms I'll write one side, remaining all other side, okay? You take minus mx to this side, then it will become plus mx plus nx equal to mx2, you take minus nx1 to the right hand side, it will become plus nx1. You can see, you can see here, I can take x common, right? If you take x common, what you will get? m plus n into x, okay? And you take that m plus n to the right hand side, then you will get x. What is x? This side, what is there? mx2, mx2 plus nx1 divided by, here if you take x common, what is remaining here? m plus n is remaining, you take that to this side. It will become like this. So, we got that x equal to mx2 plus nx1 divided by m plus n. Okay. Now, what I'll do? I'll take the other thing. pc divided by bd. See here, pc divided by bd is what is m divided by n. Okay. Now, we need to find out what is PC, what is BD from the diagram. PC means this part. You look here. PC means this part. See, this full length is what? This full length is Y. This full length is Y. This smaller part is Y1. That means this part is Y1. This full length is Y minus Y1. So, what is this PC? PC is Y minus Y1. You can understand it easily. BD. You look here. BD. BD means this part. See, this full length is Y2. This full length is Y2. Okay. What about this smaller part? This smaller part is Y. Because we consider P as X comma Y. Na? This smaller part is Y. So, this full is Y2. This part is Y. So, what is BD? That is Y2 minus Y. I hope you are understanding. Now, I'll write the PC value. What is PC? PC is Y minus Y1 divided by BD. What is BD? BD is Y2 minus Y equal to M divided by N. Okay. Now you just cross multiply. Multiply what you will get. NY minus NY1 equal to MY2 minus MY. Now I'll write all y terms at one side, remaining all other side. You take minus my to the left hand side. This will become plus my plus ny equal to my2. You take minus ny1 to the right hand side. It will become plus ny1. So you take a y common 
and remaining part you take to the right hand side then what you will get m y 2 plus n y 1 divided by here if you take y common what is remaining here m plus n is remaining so m plus n so what we got we got x y actually what is p p is x comma y so here what is x we got we got that x is nothing but mx2 plus nx1 divided by m plus n and what is y we got y as so this is the derivation of section formula when p divides line segment ab internally in the ratio m is to n this section formula is all about finding the coordinates of a point which divides line segment ab in the ratio m is to n in next class we will learn section formula when p divides ab externally